Good morning, YouTube. Happy Super Bowl. Um, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. So this morning, I woke up pretty hungry. I did not have dinner last night because my husband wasn't here and no need in cooking a big meal. So not to mention it was late, but uh, this morning I'm going to make myself the perfect scrambled egg sandwich. And I've got right here, I've got two links of a low fat turkey sausage that I just cut it in half lengthwise and I'm going to put that in the cast iron skillet right now while I'm getting my eggs ready. It really only has to brown a little bit. You're not cooking it through, it's pre-cooked, um, which makes life so much easier. So what I like to do is add a, oh, about a teaspoon of heavy cream down first and then I've got two eggs I don't even know that I'm gonna need two but we'll do two eggs and my eggs will go in a foil pouch to set in um, the oven next time the oven is running I'll let them roast and it cooks the protein off the eggs kills any bacteria and then I can crush them up really easy and give them to the chickens. <clears throat> give them back the calcium from their shells. So I'm just going to make sure that these over here do not burn. Sorry for that noise. And I've got some butter down in the pan too, so when I put my eggs in, it's about a tablespoon of butter, but I'll show you that. So I like to season my eggs first, just because that's who I am. I think it brings out the essential oils of your seasoning as far as the pepper and the parsley goes. I like parsley down in mine. A little bit of salt, don't need a whole lot. And a little bit of fresh cracked black pepper. Mmm. Then we're gonna whisk that up. I'm gonna go ahead and put my toast down. I've got sourdough toast this morning. I just beat these eggs up. These are really fresh eggs. They're from yesterday or the day before. And, uh, just I can't even eat store-bought eggs. In fact, the last time, I mean, I eat the egg whites. You know, I'll buy the egg whites once in a while. In fact, I'm getting ready to do a, a quiche, crustless quiche for you guys. But the last time I bought store-bought eggs um, for deviled eggs at Christmas time, I made a couple scrambled eggs for the dogs and it looked like egg whites to me in comparison with the color. I mean, these eggs are beautiful. Check that out. Now that's what your egg mixture should look like. Yum. Okay, I'm gonna pause you and I will bring you back when we're at the stove. All right, you guys, now I'm back. I've got this butter over a medium to medium low depending on your stovetop. This is a gas stove so I can regulate it pretty easily but you got to remember that <clears throat> cast iron holds onto the heat way longer than a different pan might. This is my favorite little pan. I just love this pan. So I finished browning the sausage and it's over there resting waiting for its delivery to the toast. And I've got my eggs coming over. This is where you really have to be patient. I've got a maybe a tablespoon of butter down in that pan. I've got my two eggs with the cream, parsley. Ugh, yum. You don't want to rush your eggs. If you rush these eggs, and it's tempting to turn that heat up, if you do that, you will end up with really tough, dry, scrambled eggs. And I'm actually turning that down a bit because I don't want it any hotter than that. And all I do is start pulling it in from the sides. I want really tender scrambled eggs. These are farm fresh eggs. I don't wanna I don't I don't wanna miss out on any of the flavor or texture or anything. You see how you're pulling it in towards the middle? It's just beautiful. Okay. 
can't wait. And I probably will not need all of these for my breakfast sandwich. But that's okay. I'll save them for my puppies. Put it in the fridge. Put it down over their dinner tonight. And there you go. Delicious, tender, moist scrambled eggs that just are amazing. Oh, here comes the sunshine. Okay, so I'm turning that burner off. I'm going to take you back over and we'll plate this up. So we'll be back. All right, here you go. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. So I've got my beautiful scrambled eggs here. I'm just going to take down maybe one of those. Put it down over my sandwich. I've got my beautiful sausage there. Mm, stay on there. And I don't know about you, but I like a kick of Tabasco. Gotta have it. Doesn't that look delicious? Let's do a close up of that. See what we got. Look at that. Delicious sandwich. Mmm. -hmm. Okay, and that toast is gonna be perfect. I'm gonna bring you back over here. And I'm gonna get a bite, because I'm hungry. Mm. Okay, that's a big sandwich. <laughs> Oh my gosh. That is so good. <clears throat> wow. Now, sausage is really tasty, even though it's a really low fat. I think it's five grams of fat for that. It's very flavorful. Mmm. Wow. I better have another bite. You guys, I'm hungry. Uh oh, I'm losing my sausage. Man down. Mmm. Amazing. I hope this inspires you. I hope that you uh, are inspired to make quick, easy breakfast. This could have been breakfast for two in a matter of minutes. And it's delicious. It's easy. It's packed full of protein. It's relatively low fat. And it'll keep me going until past lunchtime. So until next time, YouTube, I hope you're inspired. I hope you come back. I hope you rate my videos. If uh, you do like this, go ahead, post it on Facebook. People love getting new ideas, something they hadn't thought of in a while. Anyway, see you next time. God bless.